Hi, thank you for coming back to the Dean's Institute. Today we are going to learn addition in Excel. Uh, this is a video where we've tried to show you uh, start, uh, the various types of addition that is possible in Excel. Starting from a basic level, uh, it goes right up to advanced uh, features available in the software. Okay, let's, uh, without further ado, let's get going. So as you can see, I have quite a few uh, tables displayed over here. Uh, this is to show the various types of addition. Let's start with the basic one. So let me zoom it for you. So it is much more clearer for you to see. Right. So whenever the situation is, uh, whenever you have very few items to add, at that time you can use this formula so basically here what you're doing is you're saying c5 which is this column and this row and you're using the plus sign you always have to start with an equal sign and that's always a prerequisite for any formula in excel in excel so you select the first cell where you're the information is and then you add the plus sign followed by selecting the second cell where the value is and then the third this method is uh, quite tedious and it is suitable only if you have three or four items in a list but if it is the list is elaborate it's very long then this method becomes very tedious so let's look at the other method when the list is much longer so irrespective of the length of your list you can use this formula let's look what that formula is so here you're supposed to use the keyword sum okay let me uh, type it so that you can see it again we'll be starting up with the equal sign you go to the cell where you want the formula to be inserted where you want the total to reflect and then you enter equal sign and enter the word sum and then press shift and 9 which is the open uh, round bracket and then it is asking where is the va where are the values so we have to press and hold and drag it down and then when you come to the end of the range you close it with uh, pressing shift and zero which is the close round bracket and press enter so basically it gives you the total of all these values there's another way also to quickly look at it so first select all the cells starting from the starting till the end point select the entire range and as you can see over here it is saying sum 935 so this also is a cross reference for you to check if this value is correct all right so now these are the two basic methods which is commonly used in excel now let's use something little more advanced now over here we have some products uh, I have taken some fruit items and there's some quantity the rate and it is being multiplied so basically if you watch my other video on multiplication uh, we've already looked into it just for your reference uh, let me do once so you select the first cell press shift and 8 it gives you the multiplication sign select the second cell and press enter and then drag this formula down so it copies the same formula down let me delete this and let me show you so if i drag it down there you are and here i put the total uh, it's again the sum total which we just did a couple of minutes back and then i select the last cell that is k14 and then i close the bracket okay 
so at times we may not uh, have the possibility to do this but we still need the same answer so there's another easy way to do it where it's called sum product so basically it's two formulas in a single product a uh, single formula so basically you say sum product we want uh, excel to add the values and multiply it with the uh, rate the quantity with the rate so in this case you have to enter equal sign the keyword sum product and open bracket and then select the first array the first list where the values are select that and press uh, a into which is shift and eight and then select the next array which is the list of the rate and then close the formula press enter as you can see both these values are matching so this is called sum product uh, many a times where you don't have space in order to do that but you still need uh, the sum of the products of all the values this is a very important uh, formula which you can use now let's look at the search option in Excel so here basically let me go and delete this and let me show you one by one so many a time what happens is uh, manually we have to go and check now for example uh, we have pineapple there are three instances of pineapple and manually we have to check 180 plus 160 that's 340 plus 400 that's 740 imagine if the list is about 500 odd items so it becomes impractical so Excel offers a solution for that. So you press equal sum if. So basically as we saw sum product where there are two operate uh, operations happening together. Sum and product. Here it is sum and a conditional statement and combination of that. So sum if. So you start with is equal to sum if open round bracket and then it is saying give us the range so where is the value you're looking for the value I'm looking for pineapple is in this range so then I press comma and then what are you looking for I'm looking for pineapple so I go and select uh, M5 where I have entered pineapple there and then what are you looking for I am looking for the amount, the sum of the amount, and then it close the bracket. So as we let's manually check it if the value is correct. So if you're using a Windows uh, system, you need to press Control. Since I'm using a Mac product, I'll be pressing Command. So Command Pineapple is over here. And then there's another instance of pineapple here. Command and I'm selecting this row. And then over here in Q14, row 14, we have another session instance of pineapple. So I select this. Now, as you can see over here, it is showing sum 740, which is exactly the value we've got over here. Okay. Now, in this case, there was only one criteria or condition that we have given so we have given the name of the fruit as the criteria now let me go and change it to banana let's see what happens yes you can see it's changing let me change it to mango okay and let me change it to mosambi and let me uh, okay Oh, but there is Mosambi here. Why is it not showing here? Oh, oh, see, here I've made a spelling error. So you have to make sure that there is no spelling errors. So the easier 
or the better way to do is you can go and copy the value and stick it here so in this way you get uh, you will not be making spelling errors anytime if you do not find it and you find that the formula is correct but you're not getting the value uh, probably you you're not uh, writing in the exact word which is there in the range okay let me go uh, back to pineapple because that's what uh, we started off okay. now in case we want we have two criteria like we want pineapples but we also want the city uh, the sale of pineapples in a particular city so there are two conditions so in this case what do we do so that's no problem so you press sum this time instead of sum if you have to press sum ifs and then open the bracket and then this time you have to give the range what you're looking for first because it has multiple criteria and excel does not put an upper limit of the number of criteria you're looking for but it becomes impractical if you put more than two or three criteria so in this case we are going to put two criteria that is the name of the product and then the city so first i'll start with the range where my name of the product is which is this uh, q5 to q14 okay and then i press comma and then i select where the value is what i'm looking for and then this time i'm giving the city as my criteria the range where the cities are mentioned and then and sometimes if you cannot uh, this is a practical problem because I'm not able to city see this uh, city okay in this case I press down and I go up okay now I have got the n6 I know that the value which I uh, I have entered the name of the city is in n6 now I close the bracket press enter there you are so here it is saying the sum of the pineapples that we've sold in Bangalore city is for 560. Now let's change the city. In Mumbai, it's one for 180. Let's check in Chennai. In Chennai, we have not sold any pineapples. So let's go back to Bangalore. And this time, let's change the name of the fruit. Let's check how many words bananas have we sold in Bangalore. We sold for 80 rupees. And let's check something else. Masambi. We haven't sold because Masambi was sold in Chennai. There you are. Uh, it's that easy. So basically, uh, let's recap what we learned today. This is when you have very few items to add. Here you just put an equal sign and then you select where the first value is, put the plus uh, sign and then subsequently select the other cells where the value is and press enter. If you have a lengthy line, a uh, list of items to be added, you, you start with using is equal to this time you have to use the keyword sum and then open flower open round bracket and uh, select the cell where the first instance of data is and then drag it down till where it is and then close close the close the value and press enter and there you are and this is an instance where we have shown you how to do the sum product. In sum product, you basically start with is equal to sum product, the keyword sum product, open the bracket, select the first array and multiply it, then select the second array and close the bracket and press enter. We get that. And finally, we came to look at sum if and some ifs so some if formula is basically some if and then you have to tell where your 
the range is what you're looking for. Oops, sorry. Let me escape. Okay, select the range, comma, then what's the criteria? In this case, the criteria is given in uh, cell M5, and then comma, and what is that you're looking for? I'm looking for the, uh, to sum the amount, and then I close the bracket and press enter. Now, in case where you have multiple criteria, so instead of using sum if, you will use sum ifs is equal to sum ifs and then this time the value you're looking for you need to select that range first followed by the other criteria it's irrespective of which uh, if you select the cities first select the product it does not make any difference so I'm selecting the city and where's the criteria for the city since it is not visible I pressed it here and I'm going up so I know my value is in n6 comma this time I want the cities so okay uh, product names I'm sorry comma the second criteria and this is where the product name I'm looking for is mentioned I close the bracket press enter and as you can see if we change the cities the value are automatically changing so, and similarly, if we change the products also, it is reflecting. Thank you so much for watching my video. Uh, if you've not subscribed for my channel, please go ahead and press uh, subscribe it. Uh, like the channel and share it with your friends. And if you can, definitely leave your comments and what type of uh, other videos you're interested in knowing and learning. So we can make it that for you. And uh, thank you for watching and uh, do uh, press the bell icon so you get the notification for my next video. Bye for now. Have a great time. Till next.